Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and welcome to LifeSpa.com, where we prove ancient medical wisdom with modern science. And today, I want to talk to you about the Nobel Prize. The 2017 Nobel Prize for Medicine was given to Dr. Osumi, who did research on what's called autophagy, which means the eating of the self, the actual process by which the body actually gobbles up damaged cells and toxins in itself. This is something that happens when we don't eat too much. And most of us actually do eat way too much. Some studies show that we eat at least 500 calories more than we should. Some other studies show that we eat 100% of the food that we need, and then we go ahead and eat an extra 100% of the food we don't actually need. And there's techniques called calorie restriction, intermittent fasting that have been shown to be profoundly a supporter for health and longevity. In one study, the, one of the first studies that was done on monkeys where they reduced what they ate on a regular basis, sort of on their own by 30%, they saw a triple, a threefold increase in longevity. In humans, just reducing what you eat by 20% increases your, uh, your health for blood sugar. Your heart helps you lose weight, decreases inflammation, blood pressure, blood sugar powerful, powerful effects. And it's a, a very popular technique these days, which is to eat less, a good idea, and for us to do some type of intermittent fasting. Um, in Ayurvedic medicine, no doubt, that this is a technique that was known for many thousands of years. There's days in every month, too, called the Ekadasi days, and those are days that are the 11th day after the new moon and the 11th day after the full moon were actually days reserved for fasting and devotional prayer to go within, to become more introspective. And these were the days that you would normally fast. So there are many strategies in nature, in Ayurveda, a study of nature, to support healthy intermittent fasting. In fact, in nature, the springtime is sort of the natural time to fast. When you think of many of the, uh, many of the um, uh, religious rituals in the springtime, whether it be Lent or Ramadan, many of them include fasting for longer periods of time partly because after, in the springtime, it's sort of the famine period, the fall when everything's being harvested, it's the feast. And then we move, hopefully store enough insulation and reserve fuel for the famine, which comes when we run out of our stored nutrients and grains and, and foods, which is the springtime. And then we fast, even by nature, even if you didn't go into a ritual fast, nature is providing a harvest which is very austere, a low fat uh, time of the year, it forces us naturally to burn our own fat. So nature automatically resets fat burning as a natural source of fuel in the springtime. So if we really lived off the land, we wouldn't need to fast, you know, twice a day, twice a week, or or do these intermittent fasting techniques, we would just actually fast quite naturally every spring and reset fat burning. We would naturally not eat anywhere near as much food as we do because we wouldn't have it so readily available and things would be wonderful. But things aren't that way. Of course, we do publish a free uh, monthly eating guide for free for everybody you hopefully all know about it. It's called the, Th the Three Season Diet Challenge. We said give you recipes and grocery lists and superfood lists for every single month of the year for free. You can get that at lifespot.com and learn more about that. But I think what's really neat about Dr. Osumi's research is that he actually proved that there are genes that help us that, that actually help the body scrub and clean and detoxify these, these debris and old proteins, cancer-causing chemicals, uh, viruses, infected cells. We, have, we don't eat that much, we eat less. Our body naturally goes in and gobbles all those up. When we eat too much, we don't get that benefit. Thus, the, the, the big picture here, eat less. The, 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 the takeaway also, consider doing some fasting, definitely. Download my spring grocery list. Circle the foods on there that you like. And in the spring, really try to eat, in a sense, what you're probably craving, which is more, more spinach salads in the springtime and fruits and veggies in the summer and maybe more soups and stews in the winter. 
we now know good science right, shows us that the microbes are changing in the soils from season to season to season, changing on our foods from season to season to season. And now we have good science from Stanford just a couple weeks ago showed that gut microbes should dramatically shift from season to season to season. So this, one of the ways to do that is recognize that fasting, intermittent fasting, Nobel Prize winning science, supports that we need to give our body permission to do that. And it happens when we starve. Studies show that our cells live longer, our mitochondria make more energy when we don't eat that much or when we're in a starving program. We are hardwired genetically to endure famine, to endure longer periods when we don't have food. And it forces us to burn our long lasting, sleep through the night, handle stress like water off a duck's back fuel, which is our fat. Let me give you a couple of techniques. Please read the article associated with this video uh, where I go into more detail about all this. But here's a couple of takeaway tips for some fasting strategies. You can do the Ikadazi days where you fast and have nothing but water twice a month during the 11th day after the new moon and 11th day after the full moon, a very Vedic concept. Another Vedic concept, 13 hours of a day fast from six o'clock at night till seven o'clock in the morning, don't eat. Make that your fast. There's good science behind that as well. Cleansing fast, we here at Lifestyle, we have two cleanses. One, our free ebook, The Short Home Cleanse, gives you a four day cleansing fast. And then our two week Colorado cleanse, there's a seven day fast, um, uh, Vedic Ayurvedic fast, detox fast that we give you to force and reset fat burning. It's a really powerful and we do those regularly in the spring and the fall. Juicing once a week or with water once a week, great idea, great idea in the springtime. Kapha body types do really well with fasting. You maybe want to make it a constitutional protocol for yourselves because you, you really want to help force the body into that fat burning whenever you can. That's the stable, calm fuel. And then there's many other techniques like intermittent fasting techniques. One of my favorites, the very, very popular technique, very successful and effective technique is eating 600 calories twice a week, eat whatever you want the rest of the week, but twice a week, just limit your food to 600 calories, just eating less. That's the key. Enjoy this article and please uh, really think about how we can get connected to the circadian science, which is another Nobel Prize winning science here in 2017 that suggests that we should live with the cycle. So fasting, yes, understand your body type and understand what season you're in. And you can amp up the fasting when nature's saying, you know, let's eat less and burn some fat. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Viard. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Viard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.